Hey guys, how's it going on? Uh, this is Bog here, gonna check out the early gameplay of a priest in Dungeon Fighter Online. Uh, so this will be one of the later editions. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna take you to a new spot this time. I know all of our other videos are kind of... kind of in the same spot, so... Uh, I'm gonna skip doing my time run, kinda give you guys a little more... Uh, something to watch here, hopefully. Assuming I don't die, that is. Now the priest has a bunch of splash abilities, a bunch of charges, weapon twirling action. You can actually become more or less a, a tank, a healer, or just a big brute for the most part. It's kind of hard to call someone a healer in this game when they only have... I don't know, they have a limited 6 heal usage per instance. Uh, in the early levels you really don't need it, so I don't have it at the moment. I'm all about the uh, <laughs> abilities that deal damage. So They do have, like any other class, they're supposed to have a 4th class that you can change into later on. Uh, however, it's kind of been in the works for a little bit now, so I'm not exactly sure when they plan to release it. It's called the Avenger. It's supposed to focus more on the dark side of the uh, priest. Sort of like this ability here. I think it involves being possessed of some sort. Don't really know a whole lot about it. Younger brother was the one that played priest, so I'm the gunner. <laughs> Just trying to check this out because I've never actually played one of the past like level ten. Kind of made me curious. And this is... I love this place because it's just so many mobs in one spot. You can just AoE all day long. So we're just gonna clean these up real quick. Nice throw and slam. It's kind of the, the trademark move of the uh, priest here. There we go. Save me a couple potions. I love it. You can immobilize them with that shadow hand there, or you have a chance to at least. A lot of these abilities are awesome to play with through the game and you get really used to them. However, when you get higher level you'll see a lot of misses go down. And it's kind of demoralizing, gotta admit, but it's kind of where the skill aspect comes in. You have to chug a lot more mana pots and do things of the sort. I might actually make the... that should make the time run, actually. Didn't expect to, but, uh... Hey! <laughs> Sometimes you don't plan for great things to happen. Hey, uh, saw these guys here. There we go. Grab it! By the way, if anyone's watching this and has any recommendation as for a secondary class they would like to see for pretty much any character that we've posted so far, just feel free to leave a comment and uh, I'll try and check it out. Usually won't take me very long. It's pretty quick to level in most games, so. Not the best player, I just know how to level. And Blacky is here. Well, electric lizard dude, really annoying. Uh, he copies himself, has a lightning shield, and that's more or less it. He drops a little cage on you, which it's hard to get hit by usually, but my luck is good. <laughs> Doing a little bit of the 
noob shake for you. <laughs> My favorite dance. Laggy there for a second. I don't know what that was about. And Superman punch. I yeah. Ah, the Minotaur that just spawned is actually part of a title. Most titles in this game give you an added effect. That, well, on top of awesome stats for an early title, this one has a two percent chance that whenever you're struck, you actually summon a Minotaur to help you. Although the AI is not exactly amazing in this game, uh, it's still pretty cool. It's cool to see it happen. Ooh, I'm gonna get out from in front of those because... There we go. Little red dragon pillar things there actually shoot fire and it's really annoying. It's probably the hardest part about the boss is dealing with the little pillars here. The boss is easy otherwise, you just juggle them. Oh, there's the double. Do that. Do that. Do that. Yeah, hopefully trying it out. Trying to get a throw on. Oh wow, I'm missing so much, it's ridiculous. There we go. Get rid of that gun. Hey, yeah. And big. Ooh. Need to be actually careful here. <laughs> oh man, it's not looking good. Should be able. To. There we go. Just throw him out of here. Nobody likes him. Go away. Go. There we go. Luckily, the throw is the most powerful ability you got. So. Got the meditation there. And double F's it. Yeah. Bastard is not not strong enough for me. Not really, I'm actually <laughs> Oh a priest is not my boss. I'll leave it at that. Second card as always. On this character I actually joined a guild, which means you get a chance for extra loot at the end of a dungeon. And you can also get ex extra experience for running with guild members, so it's actually really cool that they added that in because it kind of promotes some guild usage in there. You know, I like it a lot. But let's go back to town, complete some quests. That was just a rough look for you guys as far as what the priest can do early in. Uh, there's a lot that can happen later when you class change. So hopefully I'll be able to get a video up for each of those. It'll take a little bit of time because, well, it takes a little time to get to the class change, so. Uh, until next time, next time guys, uh, take it easy. This is Bulgal.